Imagine reducing the time it takes to replace a worn strut bearing by up to 90% and never having to remove the propeller shaft. You can with the Strut Pro Cutlass Bearing Replacement Tool. It's easy, it's damage free, and you never have to change critical alignments. There is no cutting, no beating, no destruction of any kind. Strut fasteners and bedding will not require repair because there is no pressure applied to any area other than the strut. Now, how does that sound? Let's look at the old way of replacing a cutlass bearing. First, you remove the prop, then the flange on the transmission, then the shaft, sometimes even the strut. If the rudder requires removal, then steering is involved, and that will require many hours of labor. There's a lot of time involved, and it's not always damage free. With the Strut Pro Cutlass Bearing Replacement Tool, you can do the same replacement in a fraction of the time because you don't remove the shaft or strut. It can often be done in as little as 15 minutes. The Strut Pro Kit contains the following parts. Pay particular attention to the nomenclature of each because I'll be referring to them throughout this instructional video. The kit contains a forward yoke. That's the open yoke shown here at the far end of the assembly. An aft yoke. It is closed and it's on the near end of the assembly shown here. 11 horseshoes to fit diameters in incrementally larger sizes from 3 quarters of an inch through 3 inches. 7 sets of zinc plated high tensile strength steel collets. These collets are stackable and will fit all shaft and bearing combinations up to 3 inch diameter bearings. 2 hook and loop collet retention straps two sets of horseshoe retainers, four threaded rods. The threaded rods come pre-installed with two oil impregnated bronze thrust bearings. This gives you extremely smooth operation without hydraulics. These are pre-installed on the threaded rods and each is sandwiched between two flat washers. Also included are two machine collar nuts for the forward yoke. Here are the steps necessary to replace your cutlass bearing using the Strutmore Cutlass Bearing Replacement Tool. Remove the propeller. Closely inspect the strut for any set screws used for retaining the strut bearing. Sometimes the strut screws have been painted over with anti-fouling paint, so it's important to remove any set screws before proceeding. Clean debris and corrosion from the old bearing and strut. In order to select the proper size horseshoes, you will need two measurements, the outside diameter of the strut bearing and the diameter of the propeller shaft. In this case, we are replacing a bearing with an outside diameter of 3 inches installed a drive shaft with a 2 inch diameter. The inside measurement for the, ho for the forward horseshoe should be slightly more than the drive shaft diameter, in this case 2 inches. The inside measurement of the aft horseshoe must be slightly larger than the outside diameter of the bearing as the bearing must pass through it during removal. Select the proper collets that most closely match the outside diameter of the bearing. Do not exceed the outside diameter of the bearing as you could jam the collets into the strut. Collets are designed to be stacked to fit a wider range of bearing diameters. Special shim materials provided for 3 quarter inch and 7 8 inch shaft sizes as well as metric and any off size dimensions. Position the collets onto the propeller shaft forward of the strut. Secure the collets using the hook and loop straps provided. Position one strap approximately one inch from each end of the collet and pull snug. Rotate the collet so the seams are on top and bottom. This will maximize the surface area of the collets that contacts the forward horseshoe. Slide the collet back to make contact with the bearing. Visually inspect to make sure the collet closely matches but does not exceed the outside diameter of the bearing. To construct the polar assembly, lay the forward and aft yokes on a clean surface. First insert a flat steel washer, then the bronze thrust bearing, then another flat washer over each threaded rod. Insert the threaded rods through the yoke, starting with the aft yoke first, and then through the forward yoke. Attach the machined nuts to the threaded rods, and insert into the forward yoke, positioning the nuts into the locking tabs. Use the cotter pins to attach the horseshoe matching the outside diameter of the bearing to the aft yoke. 
Do not attach the forward horseshoe at this time. Lift aft yoke assembly onto aft end of shaft and position under strut. Swing the assembly up and forward to position the forward yoke onto the drive shaft forward of the collets previously installed onto the shaft. Install the forward horseshoe that most closely matches the propeller shaft diameter. Insert the cotter pins through the horseshoe and into the yoke to hold the horseshoe in place. The tool is now installed and you are about to remove the bearing. It is very important to apply equal pressure to both threaded rods. Begin by hand turning the welded nuts clockwise. This will compress the puller assembly. Tap the horseshoe up out of the way of the old bearing. Here's a tip. If you have your new bearing, slide it onto the propeller shaft up to the aft end of the strut. Rest the aft horseshoe on the new bearing to automatically align itself and prevent the old bearing from making contact with the aft horseshoe during removal. This is very important. There must be clearance for the cutlass bearing to slide out through the aft horseshoe. Watch carefully. If the puller assembly gets tight without the bearing moving, stop and examine the cause. Also re-examine to make positive there are no set screws securing the bearing to, into the strut. Proceed with caution. Turn each nut no more than five cranks, then the other. Watch closely to ensure alignment remains consistent between the forward and aft yokes. As you continue turning the nuts, the tool will force the collets in to the forward end of the strut, forcing the worn bearing out the aft. Once the bearing is free, it can easily be slid back and off of the propeller shaft. Loosen the threaded rods and remove the collets which are now inside the strut. This might require tapping the collets to free them from the strut. Holes are provided in the collets for this purpose. Use caution not to damage the propeller shaft or strut. 